beautiful day on the canal then got that little bit I've got a scrub and um yeah she's clean we might crack the front two nuts real nuts because I couldn't because <laughs> they're too light so just having a little little tiny mess around this has got to come out and it looks like it's all screwed into the van and I can't remember because it was 15 years ago and I can take that off um, this has got to come out which is really heavy so I need help lifting that out then I can get the floor out and have a look underneath and just well on the top because I've looked underneath so now I've decided get my jigsaw out I'm going to cut this out there's one screw in the floor there I can't get it out these big screws in here do I show you I can't get that out I can't get that out, it's kind of, it's, it's rounded off, I can't get that out, but it moves a bit, so I've got my hammer, a screwdriver to stick through there, but this is a decent piece of wood, so I'm just going to cut, cut that off, and try and pull this off, wrench this up, try and save this big piece of wood, and not that I'll be putting it in, because I want to make the van really, really lightweight this time. And then I'm going to try and sort out getting that unit apart without damaging it too much. Put a new, a different end on than this. Because this is going to go by the door there next time. So this end, I was going to make like um, a doorway that I can get into the side if I want to and put like a, a clicky table out on that so i just want to get it all sorted i want to get it all stripped out and it's where to put it all in the garage in my mom's garage but it'll all go back in um so there we are at the minute Fifteen years on i can't remember how this went together took my thing that's the lid that sits on the top so i had to take that off so at least i can see this is screwed in but this, this big, there was a big screw there holding it in. And you can see moves, but I can't see where it's screwed in. Anyway, my little gas container. So I need to take this off anyway and take my bottle off. And then I've got to work out if you can see. Loads of cobwebs under there, but I haven't got a clue how this is screwed in the back. 15 years ago, probably 16 years ago now, I can't remember. But I want to get this out. It's just that. Just my burner. Just my floor. Smash up that. And I can really start this project, man. Gas bottle off. It's a bit dirty in there. Just got to disconnect this pipe so I can pull it through. And look what I found in the back of my um, cupboard. My fire poi. So might give them a bit of a clean up. Have a go. Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to get done what I can actually do because I still can't work out where the screw is holding in there but i've took the doors off took the bottom off and hey i've cut the pipe off here because i just couldn't get this off here because it's been on there for years but what is that that's dripping out of it like i put my finger in it and thought nah i better wipe that off because quick because I don't know what it is so yeah I don't know what that is coming out of my gas pipe but it's a bit weird isn't it out of my gas pipe anyway obviously my pipes will need cleaning when I put it all back in so that's where I've got now I'm gonna see if I can maybe unscrew maybe the back of that see if any of these screws will work 
and then I think I'm going to have to ask for someone to help too that's got some power tools, powerful power tools to try and get these one, two, three, four screws out, that's it and then I'm going to leave the stack pipe I think but dismantle it from here got to get a screwdriver in there try and undo that pull this off and then that beast has got to come out right then hey carpet's out had to have a bit of a wrestle with it so this is a piece of flooring i can't get this piece out until the wood burner's out and then there's another piece there, a long piece down the back, and then the big piece. So it's in four pieces. So, just trying to get done everything I can do before I come back down here again. And definitely need just a little bit of help with that to get that unit out, to get the cooker out, and then get the unit out. And then a lift with this, because it'll be too heavy. Um, kind of probably saw through that and get leave that piece bolted on so I won't have to weld that far up. Um, not that I'm doing the welding on the size <laughs> my cousin's doing it but yeah hopefully I'll be able to do little things like because I'm moving this around to the side weld some plates on the vents and then I'll have to put vents in this side for the cooker um but yeah it's starting to look empty which i'm really glad because this has been a long 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 journey right so try and do a little bit more and then that's going to be it for now hey i got my sink out because i never actually bolted it down look at the dirt under that because I realise this that holds the flat bit on, I've unscrewed it, but it fits onto here somehow. Oh, I think I've got some little things under there, so I could probably get that out. You can see where it's bolted there, it's not bolted there. And this is for my sink. And call me paranoid, but I don't want any little mises getting up there. So I'm just sticking loads of wire and then I'm going to wind it round the end so nothing can get in. So I'll just leave that for now until I take the floor up. So that's another little thing done. Right, that's it. Can't do any more today. My back is in bits. Sinks out. And I've just got the bottom off the metal here. Cause that's all silicon in so i think i'm gonna have to cut the, the seam around the back and what i've really and i've done undone those bolts there um i've tried to get under here to pull this off but i can't and i can't do that one i'm just my tools are not very good but i'm just not strong enough to get them out because then this this piece is all in one piece that could come off um, but what I've realised, because I don't think things through, I just work it out as I'm going along. It's probably because it's been in the van for like 15 years. Now that I've cut this off, I don't have to get these big screws out until I come to change it. Because I want to put some thinner, thinner wood on this, just to make everything a bit lighter. So hopefully this, you can even see it will move. Hopefully I'll be able to get it out. So I'm just going to ask for some help. Hopefully get that out by next week. So I can get the floor up. Get the burner out. And then, apart from rip that off, which won't take me very long. I can start taking all these lower panels off. Because there's insulation behind them. So that so all the, everything that's dangerous out of the way of it being welded outside. So, there we go for now. At least I've done a few more jobs. Right. Black tie, well, the valve's broke.